How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be talking about The Lodge. It's a modern hammer film from 2019 although it didn't get a wide release in North America till February 7th, 2020. Um, it's a movie about this woman called Grace and she's dating this guy, a psychiatrist, um, and unfortunately for her, the kids of this guy don't really like her. They kind of blame her for their parents splitting up. Now, on top of that, she's actually the lone survivor of a suicide cult. And when the kids find that out, they don't trust her even more. So there's this big, you know, real world type tension between Grace and these two kids. And then it gets to be Christmas time, and the dad has to work, which kind of throws a wrench into their Christmas plans. And it winds up where um, if they want to go out there as early as they wanted, uh, Grace and the kids are going to have to spend a couple days by themselves until the dad can get back with them. So you get this, you know character and these two other characters that don't really get along or trust each other trapped in this lodge together in a very real world setting that is of course until they eventually get snowed in and various memories start to haunt Grace as well as an unknown force starting to mess with things around the cabin and this is a really good setup, you know, a very A24-esque, very dark and artsy, yet focusing on real-world stuff. You know, you get Grace trying to be as good as she can to these kids, and it is told from her perspective, but the kids having a very good reason not to trust her uh, between the parents and of course finding out that she was uh, in a suicide cult you know even though she's your main character you see why the auxiliary characters are very weary of her so you're trapped in this uh, situation and this movie has really good cinematography um, you really get to see the gloom and uh, lots of claustrophobia. There are a few shots where it's shot where you can really see just how tight uh, and small some of these spaces are. Uh, this is the same directing team behind uh, Good Night Mommy and in some of these shots and in some of the plot in particular where the kids don't trust the you know soon-to-be stepmother uh, you really see the influence of their previous work onto this one and overall, it's a really good, well-made movie. But one thing I do want to stress is if you aren't up for the deep, dark, gloomy movies, this is not the movie that you're going to want to see. If you're someone like an A24 fan, like I mentioned earlier, this is definitely going to be up your alley. But this isn't, you know, popcorn horde with all the jump scares. And if you're not in the mood for a deep, dark, gloomy movie, is not going to be the one you want to watch. However, it's very well made and it really gets the atmosphere. Um, but yeah, if it's something you're not in the mood for, it's, you know, it's what the whole movie is. Um, as far as flaws, there is some character decisions revealed towards the end that you're like, ooh, that was a big mistake. But when you think back on it, you understand why it happened. Um, but overall, really good and well put together. I'm really excited to see what more Hammer has to do in the future. And actually, um, coming up on this channel, I will review The Invisible Man, which just came out from Universal. So it's really cool that we have a Hammer movie and a Universal movie all getting wide releases really close to each other. That's just, you know, as someone who covers Hammer and Universal a lot on this channel, that's a really interesting thing to see. Um, anyway, I will cover Invisible Man soon. 
Um, anyway, uh, I'd like to uh, thank everyone who's liked and subscribed. You're helping the channel out. And I'll see you guys next time. Invisible Man next week. I'm not sure if they'll be on Tuesday or Thursday, but I'll see you guys later. Have a really good day.